And the important thing is that a property and an assertion are not the same thing. You know, people often think that they're the same thing, they're not. An assertion is just one example out of four of a verification directive. Okay, so a verification directive is an instruction to the EDA tool to tell it what it should do with the property you've just given it. Okay, so the property is the definition of design behavior. Uh, what most people are familiar with is an assertion. An assertion means the tool, the EDA tool, so check that property is always true. An assumption is used in formal, and the reason that it's used in formal is because with formal verification, you don't have a test bench creating stimulus for you. The tool will drive the inputs in any way it wishes to try and cause an assertion to fail. And of course, most designs aren't expected to work with random inputs, so there are some rules about how the inputs behave and how we convey them to the tool is by writing a property which we apply the assumed directive to. So that's why it exists. So informal, it means a limitation on how the inputs can be driven. If we don't have any assumption, it means all inputs can change at any time to any value, which is the same as having random inputs for infinity. In simulation, because it has no meaning in that context, the simulator will turn it into an assertion. Okay. So it will prove the property is true. And the reason for that is because all of our results from formal depend upon the assumption being correct. And if the assumption is not correct, then our, our formal results are invalid, basically. So it's, it's important that we validate them some other way. And in simulation is one way in which we can do that. A cover is uh, means different things. It's the same code, of course, but informal, what it means is show an example of something happening. So the cover expression is a sequence. So demonstrate that sequence occurring. So that's, that's given what the initial state of the design is and the design itself and what the assumptions are. In simulation, it means count how many times that sequence occurs. Restrict is a readability statement, which is rarely used actually. Um, it's intent is good. The whole point of restrict is that sometimes in formal, uh, you wish to apply an assumption, which is only a temporary restriction. It's not actually required design behavior. So you use the, the word restrict instead of assume to indicate that it is a temporary restriction. It's intended as that. Um, so in formal, it does exactly the same thing as an assume. In simulation, because it's a different word, the simulator knows to ignore it and do nothing. So the behaviors, when we state them in SVA, you know, there is nothing in the SVA that tells us whether we're using simulation or formal. It's a statement of design behavior, which should be true regardless of whatever tool we're executing our code in.